it's already super beautiful up here in the mountains. Van engine fan is on right now, so we're trying to let it cool down for a minute. And then we'll keep heading up. I guess it's gonna be pretty crazy steep drive up here. But then we'll be in Waras where Rob's hanging out. We get to see the homie. Can't wait to change out the engine fan when we get down there to Lima. It's already arrived. Oh man, looks like we're gonna have to turn back. We've only made it to about 7,000 feet and we're smelling oil. We're seeing the side of the transmission with oil leaking on it. it looks wet. We're only at 7,000. It would be 14,000 at the top here and then back down to 10. So it really sucks that the van's holding us back. We decided we're gonna have to go back down to the coast and down towards Lima, try to get some things fixed. Bummer. Looked like a really amazing mountain range up here. But we gotta get this fixed, especially if Emily's sister's coming and wants to go to Cusco. You know, we're not gonna be able to drive up there either until we get this sorted. Oh man, we were driving and I tried to close this fan and the opening mechanism has broken. This thing's been running steady for three and a half years. Oh, pretty crazy spot here, but I'm at work trying to get this fan fixed. <laughs> that looks pretty broken. I think what holds it in is what broken. I have this cleaned up really nicely now. It looks like it is this mechanism here which needs to be changed. I already saw online that piece for $15 to $30. And since her sister's coming in soon, I'm gonna get this ordered tonight. They sell metal ones, so hopefully that'll be a nice permanent fix. Estás muy casada? Ay, sobrita. Mi baby. Over there, huh? On the way to Lima, I just counted, there are seven warnings from other travelers about robberies and tire scams and just scams in general. It's gonna be a long day driving there. <laughs> Definitely worth it. We have to get the, the van fixed. We have a lot of work to do before my sister gets here. So other overlanders usually don't drive at night. And we don't find it too bad to drive at night, but we're always aware of our surroundings. So last night we did stop right before nightfall to stay here. And that's mostly because we looked ahead on iOverlander and we saw that there were many armed robberies going further south. We're about to pass all of those places today. It is a little frightening to me. So many people were robbed kind of in the middle of the day as well, like 3 p.m. We're gonna try and just drive right on through that part. <laughs> the armed robbery happened with a bicyclist. He was pulled into the sugarcane fields. Three armed men stole his camera phone and wallet and left him with just his tent and backpack. There was actually two overlanders camping on the cliffs, not far from where this other man was robbed. Two men came up with guns, stole their valuables, cameras, phones, computers. So they were actually at a campground. Even whenever you pay to stay somewhere, you still get robbed. It doesn't really seem like it's even worth the risk. You ready to roll? Let's go to Lima. Sombrita, that's one dirty dog. Not allowed in the van until she is cleaned. Oh, okay, now here comes the cat. Graham, you, you want a wipe down? You gonna get a wipe down, my boy? You want a little wipe down? You want a wipe down? Get over here. <laughs> he didn't want it. I don't think he wanted a wipe. I'm going home. You guys are too much. I'm cutting. Time to go five hours to the south. Super 
glad to be able to get work done and be productive like while we're just driving five hours today. Ooh, after driving for so long, we have switched. It is 77 degrees here in Lima. We have about an hour until the place that we're trying to get, but we made it to the outskirts of the city. On the bright side, it looks like this city has a lot better garbage pickup by the government, which is really great to see. I can't imagine if the biggest city in Peru didn't have some kind of system to pick up all of this garbage. So I'm really happy to see how clean it is here and maybe this will turn around our Peru trip so far. Wow, so we just parked at our spot here in Lima. Check this out, not too bad. Pretty good view right here. Little park next to us. What do you think, somebody? Step one of the endless car repairs. Get this engine fan out of here. First trip to the mechanic. We're getting the engine fan replaced with a new one. Danny ordered here to Lima. This is an important trip to the mechanic because if it works out, we're going to have this mechanic do a lot of our repairs. So he's got the new engine fan in here. Okay, it looks like the auxiliary's on now. And it's not vibrating everything. Yeah. Woo oh, it turned off already. Repair one. They only want 150 soles, so that's like 50 bucks or less. Right. Yeah, for such a stressful thing we've had for months. The dash isn't vibrating. It's actually nice for the first time in so long. Well, now that we have some confidence in the mechanic shop that we picked, we are gonna get some more work done by them. The bushings, the brake pads, maybe the rotors if they can find them for us. Repair number two, brakes and rotors. <sighs> Smooth again. I had the hardware this time. The correct brake pads looking good. Get in the van looking shiny too. Spare parts, spare parts. Check it out though, this place washing the car were raised up and it's like gently rotating the van while they're washing the bottom with some special machine. <laughs> Epic and slightly nauseating. We're back at our spot by the coast here and our buddy Rob has showed up as well. We found an oil filter housing here in Lima. My sister is bringing us one, but we have to get this fixed before she gets here in order to make the climb to Cusco. So, repair number three, oil filter housing. So, Danny went to go and get ceviche while they were working on the van. And he told me that they have a couple of veggie options. Come deliver me some veggie ceviche. Okay, so we have some canchitas that come with every ceviche that you get. We have some banana chips, looks like gamote chips, or sweet potato chips too. Some dressing, three different sauces. And here is the veggie ceviche. Ooh. So usually causa is layered cold mashed potatoes with fish and then also other veggies, but this one they just made it with all veggies. So I'm excited to try both of them. You're bringing me back some food. How was is, how is your ceviche? All those sauces are really good. Yeah, I'm excited to try. Yeah, with the chips too. <laughs> mm. That's really nice. Wow, yeah, this is exactly what I needed. Okay, let's try the causa. Mmm. I kind of like the ceviche more though, this is delicious so, but it's a lot of food. Super tasty lunch here, I'm so glad that Danny got me this from La Mar. I'm so glad I was able to try veggie ceviche here because all the ceviches that Danny's been eating have looked really really nice and 
Sushi is one of my favorite foods too. So while they were trying to change the oil filter housing, I guess one of the bolts is hard to get out. I'm not sure if it's stripped or not. We haven't really asked them. We got here about five hours ago, so that's not very good. It's not looking good. Oy. The mechanic just worked on the van all day long and there was no progress basically. He couldn't get, well, I guess Danny thinks that a novice was taking apart the engine and he stripped a screw, so that's no good. I don't know if it was his fault or if it was just a really messed up bolt or screw, whatever. Mm -hmm. But it seems like you should be able to get past that issue in five hours if you're a mechanic. You yeah. know, I've had a lot of different bolts that people drill out or whatever they have to do. This one's a little different because that's like a plastic cover. So if they like just barely mess it up, I guess, you know, tomorrow we had an appointment anyway. And those guys seem to know what they're doing, so we'll just let them have a shot at it. I'll warn them about this stripped one. And... Yeah, so hopefully they, well, I mean, we have really no other option than them getting it out tomorrow. This is not a mountain we have to climb here. It's just a bolt that they have to get out, so. And then we can get along with getting this filter housing put in. We have a couple more days, and hopefully we can get it done before my sister gets here because Seems like it's gonna take a little bit longer than we thought to get this project done. Good morning. We're heading to the mechanic again this morning. Hopefully this time we're going to the mechanic and they're gonna say, oh, come right on in. We'll get started immediately. Yeah. Kind of scary because this is the main issue affecting my sister's strip. So if we don't get this part switched out, the van could keep leaking oil on our way up and overheat and everything. Another day at the mechanics. Getting stuff done though. I finished this contracting gig. But check out this, this work environment here. We got over here. Cat, he loves sleeping on your laptop case. <laughs> over here. Good dog. How are you feeling, sombrita? <laughs> Emily up there on the bed. Great news! It's 12.30. We've been here since 8 o'clock and he has got the bolt out! Yeah, it's really awesome to see he was able to remove that. It's cool. He showed me how he did it. He screwed, you know, drilled a hole into it. He screwed a drill bit into it and then using that drill bit, reverse it out and... I mean, no matter what, we're getting this part in way before we thought we were going to, which is just fantastic. We don't have to devote any of our time during our vacation with my sister to the van, so that'll be really good. And he said it should be that engine oil filter that was the cause of the leak, so... <gasps> right. I saw the head mechanic. He said we're good to put in the engine oil cooler today. the old one. Wow, that thing was leaking like crazy. It's on and it's working. Yay, the van is running and so far it's been completely fine. But I guess we'll see what happens on our drive up to this campsite. Yeah, we got an hour and a half to test out the van. Oh my god! <laughs> so now we're gonna have a nice relaxing time until my sister gets here. Psych! Now we have three more full days to get done a lot of work. So we'll see how it goes. Here's our dog, just relaxing. We've got another dog, that's the owner's dog, and he's really relaxed, pretty old. Then we have this dog, another old, relaxed dog. And who's over there sitting with them? Graham. The cat is laying underneath the van with two dogs that he doesn't know. <laughs> we found another pandemic graveyard over here. We've got one from Michigan, Argentina, New York, DC, and then another one from Washington. 
This sand is from Ecuador? Yeah, we got some Ecuador and some blue sand and mud. At this campsite, we're going to reorganize the trunk, rust proof the roof rack, reseal the stove and sink, clean and repaint the black lines on our mural. When we got to this campsite, we were so excited to see so many travelers we had met before. So we decided to have a fire and a movie night together. Bring it on. <laughs> we use a king size sheet for the screen and we carry around a projector for nights like these. I'm beyond excited to be picking up my sister and niece tonight. We are convoying with Klaus and Catherine into Lima, but first we have to make Danny's favorite pit stop. Oh damn, check out this epic skate park. They told me this is the best one in Lima. Convoy in with the friends van here with a little side stop here to check this out. Well, since we're heading to Lima to pick up her sister today, gotta cut this set short, but Wow, if you're a BMX or a skater coming out to Lima, this Manchai skate park, it's about 40 minutes out of the center, but definitely the best skate park here. Epic, epic spot. We gotta get on the road. Yo, hey. you ready to go to Lima? Oh, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Our van friends are also vegan, so we split an enormous feast together. If you like this video, let us know in the comments, like and subscribe. If you'd like to support us some more, head over to our Patreon to join the family. We're heading to the airport soon, so we'll see you next time for some epic Peru adventures with our extra passengers.